Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chum here and as you guys can see today, I have something really fun to unbox for you guys and that is the Yu-Gi-Oh! 20th Anniversary set. Now this set is actually super cool. It's obviously a Japanese product as you can tell by the Japanese text for the name Yu-Gi-Oh! or I guess the name of the series. Uh, and the cool thing about this product that I really love is that it actually came out a while ago. It came out on my birthday and I thought since it came out like at such a convenient time for me, a relevant time for me, I figured it was worthwhile picking up one of these boxes and cracking it open for you guys because I mean the stuff in here is actually super super cool not the greatest like packs or pulls you can get from here like of all time some really cool stuff but I think the things that I'm most excited for are the various accessories so without further ado let's just jump into this and I'll be back in a second because I don't think I got a knife to actually open up this box I'll be back in like two seconds all right guys I am back as you guys can see I now have a knife so let's flip this bad boy over and crack it open I believe there's just two points to kind of break through here just this one right here I'm uncoordinated and then if I can spin this around without hitting the camera success this one right here and I believe that's all there is to it so we'll flip it back over again and we'll uh, lift off the top and reveal what we have inside this amazing 20th anniversary box so I guess we'll start at the top here and uh, we'll remove the, the plastic so in the middle we have some pretty awesome stuff. So the first thing is, let's see if I can get this little plastic piece off here. The first thing we have here, if I can show you guys this. Sorry about it being a little bit uncoordinated, I'm trying a different, different setup right now. We have a 20th anniversary secret rare version of um, oh, uh, Oracle Paladier Mahad, I believe his name is. Um, I might crack this open for a better look in a little bit, but uh, we'll hold that off for later. Then we have three copies, not three copies, three packs of like the base set reprint. Sorry again, with, like sorry once again, I'm trying to use a different camera setup here. But yeah, you can see three copies of uh, these like volume one, like Yu-Gi-Oh! volume one booster packs. Again, part of me is like I don't want to open it, but I think I will just for the video because I think it'll be a really fun time. Uh, plus I don't think that they hold too much value. And then on the left side here, we have, I think what I'm most excited for maybe, or it's actually, you know, second most excited for, are these incredible, and I mean incredible, Yu-Gi-Oh! 20th anniversary sleeves. I love these sleeves because first of all they have a pretty cool like shine pattern to them but like if you guys look in the background, I'm not sure you can tell, there's actually small bits of card art behind the picture of Yu-Gi-Oh! and Dark Magician and that card art has such incredible detail. Honestly I think these card sleeves are probably some of the best things I've ever seen in my entire life and I'm definitely going to start using these to sleeve up my extra deck but I'm also going to use, like, I'm probably going to save half of them just so I have enough for a full deck if I ever feel like it and, like, you know, have them, keep them completely unused. But like I said, I think these sleeves are absolutely incredible and obviously the other side there's nothing there that the tat sleeves are, but, I mean, that artwork, I absolutely love it. I can't wait to put these to good use. Anyway, that's it for the sleeves. Let's move on to the next item. We have here something else I'm going to be using a lot, and that's actually a deck box. Now, the deck box kind of has the same thing going on there you guys can see it has Dark Magician, Yugi, Yu-Gi-Oh! 20th Anniversary on the top and then a bunch of small pictures of various cards in the background with this kind of really cool shimmering glittery effect I guess and again that kind of goes on over to the back you guys can see dead in the center that beautiful Raigeki if you guys recognize the card so let me get this centered I'm having a real hard time with this new setup but yeah you guys can see this is uh again really really dope I absolutely love this thing and you can see there's more of it on the top and it's just an absolutely amazing little box. I'm definitely going to start using it. The only other deck boxes I have are some really, really cheap stuff. Um, anything else of this same quality is usually a uh, kind of a two deck box in a way. And I'm glad to have the single deck box I can use uh, for whenever I take a certain deck to a tournament or whatever when I play. So that's super awesome. Another really cool product in this, but I think the best is what I've saved for last. And that is actually in this bad boy right here. And I love that it comes in this little... Um, this little box here because I can use this uh, I guess to store it at a later date but I do need to remove the tape so bear with me a few moments while I do this all right so I've removed the tape now let's crack into it I believe you open up on this side I think I might just put the tape back down but I'm sure I'll be able to pull through it there we go we're pulling through it and here comes the probably the the main not even the, probably just factually the main reason I bought this box and we throw this card off the side is this absolutely incredible play man. Now I don't think I can get the entire thing in the shot for you guys but would you look at that again 
Um, I'll probably give you guys a more zoomed out shot of it, but this playmat here is probably one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Alright guys, so there you go. This is probably the best view I can give you of this playmat. You guys can see here the beautiful images of Yugi, Dark Condition, the amazingly big Yu-Gi-Oh! 20th anniversary on the right hand side and I think my favorite part about this entire playmat, I'm sure you guys can get a good view of it, the various different cards that you can see in the background like Dark Magician Go, Blue Eyes, Yubel, uh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, a little bit of Valkyria on one of my favorite monsters. We have Utopia, Stardust Dragon, I'm not even sure I'm still putting on the mat. There's Firewall down here, there's so many iconic monsters from all different generations of Yu-Gi-Oh! Right down there you see that Mirror Fourth, how could you ever forget that card? Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it because it does contain the Japanese artwork of the cards, so you guys can see like the little um, Japanese text there, you guys can see the bubbles that they have, all the kind of like the sections, the boarded sections they have for attack and defense in the very, very first iterations of cards before they started putting just like a little byline at the bottom. Like, I really love those classic artworks for cards, and you guys will see more of that when I open up these packs, but again, I absolutely love this playmat. I think it's probably the best Yu-Gi-Oh! product I've spent money on. I think it's absolutely incredible. And I honestly don't even think I'm ever going to want to play on this. It's just too amazing to actually use. I kind of just want to frame it and hang it up somewhere. I think it'd be a really, really cool collector's item. Either way, um, speaking of collector's items, I'm going to chuck all the other things on the playmat as well so you guys can have a look. I mean, that's not really visible at all, is it? Because of the light. There you go. There's our deck box. Our ever wonderful sleeves. And then finally, we have our Paladium Mahad. And we have our packs. Now, I think I probably will crack into our packs here because I think that'll be pretty cool and I know that these things could have some value but if we do pull something really really awesome I'd, I think that'd be so much more hype so I think we'll do that just give me a few seconds let me get some sleeves to sleeve these things in because I don't want to touch these just yet uh, and I'll be back in two seconds all right guys so now I have my sleeves prepared off to the side let's uh let's actually open up Mahad first I want to give you guys a good look at this guy and while part of me wants to keep him sealed I think it'd be super cool to kind of just show him off and you guys will be able to get a better look at what this man looks like in the 20th secret rare which hopefully I'll get some more of in the future I do not know but you guys can see this card right here hopefully it focuses come on camera you got it yeah you got it all right so there you guys can see the 20th anniversary secret rare and if you guys look at the very bottom I don't know if you guys can see that very well there you go there you should be able to see it now where the card text is, is a little special 20th anniversary icon there but how good do these cards look I absolutely love them Look at that shine, the red text. I think these cards are absolutely amazing. So of course I do have to sleep this bad boy up. Just give me two, two moments and we'll get that done. But yeah, what can I say? This card is absolutely incredible. I love this rarity. I really and truly do love this rarity. And I hope to see more of these in the future. And I'd love to see some of these in TCG. That'd be absolutely amazing. Anyway, we'll chuck them down at the back here uh, next to his buddy Dark Magician. And then we will open up some of these packs. I believe they have the tear line here. Let's jump into it. I'm at the very least going to open two. Maybe, just maybe, I'll keep one saved for later. Um, let's let's kind of pull these cards out upside down so you don't get any kind of sneak peek as to what they might be. And I guess we just jump into it. So, ooh, very cool. Very iconic meme monster. The first thing we have is Mammoth Graveyard. Very, very cool. Then a monster whose name I do not recall whatsoever, but still an iconic thing. I just don't remember its name. Then we have another monster whose name completely escapes me, but uh, again, I love the design of these old cards with this little border here for the attack and defense. I think they look super, super cool. And like, I mean, we're never going to have these again because how can you ever fit the amount of text that we need these days in here, but they just look so awesome. Then we have, oh, I know this card, the spell card Red Medicine is it used in Duel Links a little bit for, I guess, some people, but look how crazy small uh, the little kind of text bubble is and look how big the text is it's crazy you don't see that anymore in this day and age of Yu-Gi-Oh! and our final card is going to be a oh my god no freaking way we pulled a dark magician from volume one that's insane what oh my god I remember thinking to myself do I really want to open these packs on video is it going to be worth it like I'm probably just going to pull absolute garbage and it's going to be a meme time. But I was like, you know what? On the off chance I pull something great, I'm, I'm going to open them up. Because I'm not going to sell them. I don't want to sell them. But oh my goodness. We pulled a ultra rare Dark Magician from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Volume 1 reprint. That's insane. I have to find out how much this card is worth. I honestly don't even want to sleeve it just yet. Because 
I might even damage it in the sleeving process, but you know what? Uh, we will do it because I just don't want it to get damaged at all, but oh, that's incredible. Look at this card. I, I love it. I, I'm blown away. I like This could not have got any better. Let me quickly sleeve this up. I'll chuck it in the back with um, our, our boy Mahad, and we'll move on to the next pack, but oh my goodness. Dark Magician Volume 1 Reprint Ultra Rare. That is just... What are the chances, man? What are the flipping chances? I, my mind is, has been lost. I, I can't believe it. I feel like my reaction might have been a little bit underwhelmed, underwhelming, but I, I'm just in disbelief. Like, don't think by any means am I underwhelmed by that amazing card. I just, I just can't possibly believe that that actually just happened. That I just pulled a Dark Magician Ultra Rare from Volume 1. It's crazy! Anyway, we have another one of this boy. Whatever his name is. We have, ooh, a dinosaur card? Very cool looking, very savage looking. I mean, look at that. They're eating, or one's eating the other one. Very, very carnivorous if I do say so myself. Oh, I feel like I remember this card's name. I really feel like I remember this card's name, but I just can't place it. I def I've definitely seen it before, I just can't place it. <gasps> oh, Dark Hole! No way, that's awesome! That's so cool! Is it? Is this thing foil? Is it? Is it foil? I can't even tell from, from here. It looks foil on camera. We're gonna pretend it's foil. And by the way, let's move on to the last card of the pack and that's gonna be a... Ooh, a rare! Oh! Hang on a second. Hang on a second. So this is a rare... I know this is like the beast equip card that adds 300 attack. So very, very cool there. I'm gonna chuck that at the back with these guys. This... This card is a foil. This is the super rare dark hole from volume 1. That's crazy! That's really weird. The Dark Magician as an Ultra Rare was in a different slot in the pack. It was in the back slot with the Rare. Really interesting stuff. I'm going to sleeve this up because, oh my god, my luck right now is is out of this world. Dark Magician, Dark Hole. What else is there to get that's dark in this set? Because apparently I'm getting everything that's titled as dark. I don't even know. I don't, I do, do I even want to open this thing? Do I want to open it? I kind of don't. It's really cool to keep. I'd love to keep one of these and I don't know. I don't know. Do I want to open it? Like... I can't, I can't do better than, I can't do better than what I've just done. Like, I mean, Ultra Rare Dark Witch and Super Rare Dark Hole, can, can you beat that? I really don't think you can. I kind of sort of keep this. You know, I'm going to let you guys decide in the comment section below. I'm going to hold on to this for now. When I upload this video, let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see me open up this pack. And I might just attach it to the next Duel Links video that I put out uh, as like a little bit of a bonus feature. If you guys really want to see me open this. Otherwise, I'd be super keen to keep hold of this, like the, the, the sealed pack, like in its full glory. And then obviously put this thing away somewhere safe, along with our Dark Magician and Dark Hole and just everything in between. Like that's, that's insane. I, I could not be happier that I bought this product. This has been absolutely incredible. Oh my goodness. But, oh, I need to calm down. That Dark Magician card is just, it's, it's, I can't even look at it. I have to look away. It's too amazing. I can't believe that. Like. I, I I pulled that front card away and I was just in, in like the most next level disbelief. I can't even, I, I just can't even fathom that that happened. I really can't. I can't fathom that. But either way guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's probably ended up being a lot longer than I wanted it to be. I think just because I kind of, I don't know, I just, I, you can't move fast when opening a product of this caliber, you know? Like, look at the crazy cool plan mat, the crazy cool sleeve, the deck box, which I'm definitely going to use, can't wait to use it. Sleeves again, I'm going to put my extra deck in those, because look how flashy they are. My extra deck's going to be the prettiest thing in the entire tournament, and that Dark Magician, man, so much of me wants to put it in my deck and use it, but I, I know that I can't do that. Like, it's criminal, so we're not going to do it. Either way, guys... And that's going to be it for this absolutely incredible Yu-Gi-Oh! 20th Anniversary set unboxing. And, oh, oh man, I got, I got too many things to sort out and put away and just figure out what to do with. Because it's so much valuable content right here on this table. At least to me, maybe, I don't know, it's not valuable to other people. But, oh, it's absolutely insane. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you are hyped to see these incredible pulls, hit that like button and subscribe to see more content like this. There's another... Uh, anniversary Duelist box, I believe, coming out towards the end of the year, and I think if I do buy one, I'll be able to get one around January, and if I if I am going to get it, I'm definitely going to open up on the channel, so if this gets good enough reception, I'll definitely pick one up, but oh my goodness, man. Such a, such a, such a good pull, such a good purchase. I'm so happy with myself. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxings as well as Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links if you guys are into that. 
I, and, I, and I'm watching this for the first time and yeah I, I just I'm, I'm in disbelief I can't even finish my outro but just either way let me know in the comment section below what your favorite item from this like, I guess product is do you like the sleeves the best do you like the deck box the best maybe you're keen on the packs or maybe you love the playmat like me I don't know let me know what you guys think either way that's gonna be it for this video once again I hope you guys enjoyed and until next time I hope you guys have a wonderful day